Hey guys, welcome back to Talking Blues. Welcome back to another video. We hope you're all doing well today. Before we get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell icon on to be notified when we upload. Share this video out as much as possible, guys. It really, really does help us out. Uh, so, Absolutely. this is your match preview yeah. for Chelsea versus Wolves. So, unfortunately, we've got no graphics, no lineups, no nothing, but we have got a lineup that we're going to go with uh, and we're going to talk you through it bit by bit. Um, but Chelsea vs Wolves, we go into the game tomorrow, we're very, very excited. This is going to be our first ever game watching Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Never seen them away either. This is a big, big, big moment. moment for us. Big moment yeah. for us. So expect tears, expect motions, you know, expect a load of different things happening from us. Sorry if you can hear everything going on outside, guys. It is a very noisy place. It's London. You know, it's wicked, what, you know? what do you expect? You know, we just we've had a wicked day so far. Travelling up, travelling up was a bit of a, a nightmare. Um, a lot of traffic, uh, etc., etc. And yeah, we're here now. You join us in our hotel room. You know, we're going to quickly uh, give you a match preview, just to explain, yeah. you know, what's going on and what we think is going to happen and how you we think this is going to go. Dad, your thoughts on the day so far? Yeah, it's, it's been a very uh eventful day um you know uh, traveling out from south wales um stopping at cardiff um put a few uh you know berries a you know, bit of a pit stop before we uh boarded the coach to london um then uh from victoria station uh where we ended up here then at uh, hotel lily somewhere in between fulham and chelsea mm. um yeah so yeah, this is our first time to uh, watch a game live at uh, Stamford Bridge, and you know, yeah, you know, it comes with emotion. It comes with, you know, um, a, a new adventure for us. Um, so, you know, we're going to meet up with you guys tomorrow. We're going to um, we're going to try our best to try and meet up with all of you. Um, yeah, if you do want to meet up, yeah. drop us a message on Twitter. We'll, yeah, we will be yeah, in. Absolutely. We'll yeah. be in the yeah. uh, bushes hook from yeah. twelve o'clock onwards. So yeah. come and join us. Very come easy and say to hi. get on with. Very down to work. Yeah, we're just open minded. You know, we're open minded yeah. people. We are open yeah. to all conversations, whether it's about yeah. football or other things. Yeah. We're very interested in a broad spectrum of things. So come down, yeah, have a chat with us. Yeah. Come and get a photo. Come yeah. and have a chat with us. We'd say love hi. to get to know you. Yeah. You know, yeah. we want to get to know all you yeah, Chelsea a few fans. Beers with you we want to build a community of Chelsea fans around this channel exactly, you know yeah. we're, all, we're over 200 subscribers that's incredible thank that's our community guys. building thank slowly you. so yeah. thank you but let's get into the match preview this is something i've been waiting to do all day uh so chelsea versus wolves um i believe it's going to be a good game i believe wolves are going to come with a bit of a fight because they've just lost their manager bruno Lage has just been sacked yeah. and i think if we look to the bare bones of it wolves are going to look to uh, be counter-attacking. Uh, they're going to sit behind the ball. S you know, they're going to have 11 men uh, uh, 10 men behind the ball, plus the striker up top. I think that's going to be tough for us to break down, but I'm pretty sure that we'll be, we'll keep, we'll be capable to do it. We're going to be up in confidence after that win 3-0 win against Milan the other day. That's going to be our confidence. That is going to be where we uh, come from. I feel like we're in a position where we could take on Wolves and we can beat them comfortably if we play the right team. We'll get into the team news in a minute. But, Dad, your thoughts on Wolves as a team? You know, they've just lost their manager. They're going to be looking to just take a scrappy win, aren't they? Yeah, you know, I've always seen Wolves as a bit of a mediocre team, you know. Um, lucky sometimes to survive the Premier League. Um, and you know having Diego Costa as well you know that's a little bit of a threat uh, but you know they've got Podence you know a number of they've got Jimenez, Jimenez Neto, Neto uh, yeah. they've got Matias <coughs> Nunez Jean Moutinho mm. Ruben Neves yeah. they've got all these fantastic yeah. players so you must never never underestimate the team even if they even if they're doing poorly you know and it, we must as I said not be conceited about any team you know, just and go out just there. Play like go out the there. Night. Go yeah. out there all, and play like you know you can. All guns blazing. You yeah. Can, don't the ground running. Don't bag those goals in the net. Don't give them any confidence that they yeah. can score. Yeah. Go out there, 
yeah. put them on the back foot and make them stay on the back Absolutely. foot and keep their pipe pressing going, mm -hmm. keep the passing fluid, you know, mm -hmm. constantly change positions, mm -hmm. be in and out between each other, mm -hmm. change it round, make make space for each other mm -hmm. because this game is going to be gritty, it's going to be mm -hmm. hard work, um, you know, it's going to be uh, a real, a real, we're going to have to show real authority on the ball if we want to get the, the win. Yeah. As, but, we, as we played last week, um, was it last Wednesday? This uh, Wednesday, just Wednesday, gone, yeah. just gone, so, you know, we played with so much uh, determination, you know, and it paid off, yeah? And this is how we should play every game, yeah? Uh, we don't lose, you know, but we must be playing at this level every game, yeah? yeah? And I believe, you know, if we kept playing like this, you know, there'd be a chance we could win the Champions League. There would be a chance we could win the Premier League. But, you know, when we have to be... It has to be consistent. Keep, we have to keep momentum. That's yeah. the important momentum. That's the important word yeah. we're looking at here. Yeah. Momentum. And Absolutely. we're going to look at the team news in a minute. Um, you know, but injury news. Kante's not ready. Kante's not ready. Mm -hmm. um, Mendy's fit. Cucurella's fit. Um, apart from that, I think everyone's good. Fafana's for for out for four weeks. Mm. Knee injury, fine. Look, we can cope with that. We've got we've got plenty of options in defence at the mm. moment. Um, but apart from that, everyone else is fit. Everyone else is good. <clears throat> so we're going to give you our team news now. So starting in goal, we're going with Kepa again. Yeah, but yeah. Because oh, not only because of his performance against Milan on Wednesday, it's, this is based on merit. This yes. is what he's earned. He has earned that starting position for the last few games. He's been magnificent. He's been commanding in the box. He's been able to claim the ball when it comes through, comes out from a corner. You yeah. know, he's been better with his feet. He's been strong. You know, he's led the team in some ways. He's been very. Exactly. Um, you know, like a leader in many ways. He's been coming out to the halfway line at certain points to give players instructions, instructions to yeah. help the players yeah. go forward because he's seeing yeah. it from a wider view. Yeah. He's seeing everything in front of him. Mm -hmm. So, and I think that's a valuable mm -hmm. thing to have. Dad, your thoughts on Kepa? Yeah, yeah, you know, I think he's, you know, every game he's getting better, um, you know, because in the Lampard, I, as I remember, you know, he wasn't uh, playing hardly. Um, he was sloppy. He was, uh, having sloppy games. Um, but, you know, what I've seen through him, he's come on in leaps and bounds. And, you know, he's feeling more confident. Making Happier. confident saves. Yeah. He's happy. And, yeah. That's what everything is based around, you know, the nucleus yeah. in the atom. And that's, that, yeah. that's a happiness. Yeah. And the comfort to be, you know, in your team. Yeah. Feeling comfortable. Yeah. And, you know, content with your job and just carrying it out to the best yeah. of its ability. So, yeah, Kepper in goal. Um, we're yeah, going absolutely. with a back four. Mm -hmm. we're going, no, actually, we're going with a back three. Mm -hmm. I've just thought about that. I've just thought about what I was going to say, and then we're going to, we're going to a back three. Mm -hmm. So, at the back three, we've gone with Ch uh, Chalaba, Chalaba, Thiago Silva, Silva. and Cali Kukulibale yeah. as a back three, yeah. because that, that, well, that works. That mm -hmm. worked last game against mm -hmm. AC Milan. It was comfortable. Everyone looked happy. It's concrete, as you know. Well. It was concrete. It was mm -hmm. solid. Yeah. You know, did I didn't feel like Milan were going to yeah. threaten yeah. much, um, especially in the second half when we just killed the game. They didn't look like they wanted to go. They didn't look like they wanted to go forward. They didn't look interested. The only real danger I could see at that point was Rafael Liao, and he wasn't really much of a danger for Chalaba. You know, mm -hmm. he looked solid when Fafana came off. I would have loved, loved to see Fafana mm -hmm. in the team tomorrow. But unfortunately not. <clears throat> so we have Chalaba, Silva, and Kulibali at the back. Dad, your thoughts on that back three? Yeah, you know, as I always say, it's impenetrables. Um, it, they do an amazing job there. You know, it's concrete. Um, to me, it's like you know that iron curtain mm. um, and protecting a goal. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it is. It's really good, and you've got. Um, Thiago Silva, you know, you can never fault him. You never yeah. fault him. Yeah. This guy never yeah. makes a mistake, Trevor man. Chalabur, the way he was playing the other night. Exceptional. You know, exceptionally well, yeah. Koulibaly. Koulibaly. He, yeah. he does strong, make mistakes from time defense. to time. He does make mistakes. He make mistakes. But, yeah. but when he's at his best, he's a, he's a, mount, he's a man yeah. mountain. He's yeah. an absolute 
like beast of a man when he's on his exactly. best. You are not getting past him. He's quick. He's strong. He's aggressive, and that's what mm -hmm. you want in the centre back. May, many of the attributes I see saw in John Terry that I see in Quilla Ballet today. Yeah. So that's the defect. That's the back three. Moving on into the wing back positions. I'm tempted to go with Cucurella again. I'm tempted to go with Cucurella at left wing back, yes, but I'm yeah. not. I'm going with Chilwell and um, Rich James again. Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. The debate, there's a massive debate. But I would give Chilwell that edge yeah. over Cucurella. At the moment, yeah. Um, and I, I don't know whether you know, it's based on experience, but also on you know speed and skill. Um, you know, he always comes up with a good... Yeah, and he well. can shoot. Yeah. He can and, shoot. You know, since since his injury, he's come back. You know, I know he had a bit of a, a slow start. Yeah, but he develops. He's back developed the momentum, he's de but he's starting to get that momentum yeah. back now. Yeah. Let him have another yeah. game. Yeah. Let him get his momentum mm -hmm. back again. Yeah. Let him continue that form. Let him continue exactly. to get that confidence back. Let Cucurella try and challenge him mm -hmm. for that. Let Cucurella challenge him for that position because mm -hmm. that is imperative mm -hmm. that we have challenging for challenge competition for places everywhere on the pitch that competition makes us better yeah. it makes our players better it makes us want to play better it makes us want to keep our place in the squad so keep that competition going start exactly. show well again uh right being back as always no one other than reese james. james yeah, yeah. you need yeah. i say no more yeah need i say more yeah. because reese james is reese james yeah and do you know what I'm looking for. He's the player I'm really looking forward to seeing play tomorrow. Yeah, he's, he's in the flesh. I want to see Rhys James play. Yeah. You know, I really like Rhys James as a player. I think he is phenomenal. Dad, your thoughts on Rhys James? Yeah, Rhys James. I think you know he's, he's he's always played a great game for me. You know, and um, he's strong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, he's got that pace. You know, he's he's scored goals. You know, and quite recently as well. Uh, you just can't underestimate new streams either, no. you know, because you know this boy is, um, you know, so a talented. A, yeah, from a football, football player, and with such, you know, um, a bright, shining future. Mm. He, he's he's a Chelsea star all over. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the argument is. Trent or Rhys James oh, well, there's, no comparison. there's no argument there to be had I'm yeah, sorry yeah. you know to all you Liverpool fans out there who hate Chelsea anyway there is no argument yeah, in defence yeah. James is better in attack no, James is no. better James is no. proving it week in week out no, no, Trent no. Alexander-Arnold has been bad this season he is when he's good and in attack he's very good yeah. right no doubts about that but Rhys James is better he edges it I, and I'm not, and this is, you may think, oh, he's got the blue tinted glasses on, blah, 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 blah. blah. No. no he's, uh, in defence, he's, he's far he's better. Just, he's yeah. far more, he's bulkier, he's quicker, stronger. He's, he's got more intent when he goes forward and when he comes back to defend. So Reese James at right wing back for me, and that argument needs to end at the moment. Uh, moving on into the midfield, and going with the, we're going with the two in midfield. We're going again with Kovacic and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Yeah. Yeah. That worked against yeah. Milan. Yeah. Let's go with it again. Let's yeah. go with that again. Let's see how it gets on. Because Ruben Loftus Cheek was getting into a stride against Milan. He was looking really good, yes, winning the was. ball, winning yeah. the ball back. You know, running around, yeah. really giving it his all. Kovacic looked fantastic in the transition. He looked really yeah. good when he went with the counter press. Both played very and I think well. That was yeah. imperative that we keep that midfield down. We keep is. that consistency mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Dad, you know. You you you've told me a lot what you thought about Ruben Loftus Cheek the other day. You said he was you know your st your man of the match against yeah. against yeah, Milan. Was, you know, um, you know he's a, a footballer with a great amount of intelligence as yeah. well. And uh, the other night, you know, the the way he was controlling that ball mm. in the midfield and everything else. Yeah, this is somebody who's come from the academy. Yeah, you know, he's had his ups and downs. But, you know, most of the games he plays for us, I would, you know, really rate him yeah. high. He is a great player, yeah, yeah. no doubt about yeah. that. Yeah, and, you know, those two, Kovacic and, and, um, and Kovacic, Kovacic, yeah. they Kovacic. both work very hard. Yeah. And that's what we need in this yeah. midfield this weekend, yeah. is to work hard. I think hard. it's a better combo than Jorginho and Kovacic. Kovacic. Yes. Kovacic yeah. Jorginho makes Kovacic slightly worse because... Kovacic has to do double the work mm -hmm. yeah. because he has to do all the running one way, mm -hmm. all the running the other way. Yeah. You know, with Loftus Cheek, 
he can run that way and that way. He's got pace. He's got energy. He's got he's got that drive. Yeah. Jorginho is a very tempo type player. So let's just see how it goes. So, really sorry about the noise outside, guys. And if you can hear my TV, the TV going on, I'm really sorry about that. Moving on into the front three. It's not like they're showing an Arsenal on there. Yeah, no, it's not that great. It's not that great in news, guys. Um, moving on into the front three, though. I mean, what do you do in this position? Because you've got so many crazy players. You've got so many choices. But we came to the conclusion of Mount, Sterling and Aubameyang again. We've got basically the same team we went with against mm -hmm. AC Milan. It worked. So those three yeah. up top, Abamian scored lovely. Oh, yes, yes. Mount got into his stride eventually. Sterling looked okay. Yeah, yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Give him another yeah. chance. Give him another chance to improve. Give him yeah. another chance to thrive, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, you know, but Abamian up top, 100%. It works. It works for us. But yeah. so, you were you happy with that, Dad? Yeah, you know, Mason Mount. He, he's had these last. Uh, number of games where you know he's been all over the place uh, to me he, he doesn't look you know in his form um or to what he you know he should be doing what position he should be in but he, he, i think you know he's gone through this transition just like many of the other players in the team and i think he you know he'll come out find... he'll come out the other end of it yeah, well yeah, you'll learn his rhythm again you'll learn from this as um, well it'll be experience yeah, for him everything is a learning curve mm. yeah and he's still a young player, Mason Mount. And, you know, I, I don't believe he had, he'll have a thriving future. You know, if he was to leave us and go elsewhere, I tell I would you what, be you know, he, it would be like another Daniel Sturridge again, banging in the goals, you know, like when he went to Liverpool. So, you know, let's not make that mistake. Let's give these players time. You yeah. know, they're maturing, they're gaining experience, you know, in the first team. You know, when they've come from the academy. Uh, academy, yeah. Sometimes, you know, they come to the first team then and they're straight away sent out on loan. And that's not good yeah. enough. So We need to give the academy first yeah, time. Yeah. But guys, that's our team. Let yeah. us know your thoughts on yeah. that. We'd love yeah. to hear your thoughts in the comment yeah. section yeah. down below. And the other um, thing I want to mention, yeah, is um, I, I'm sure the ladies won tonight, didn't they? Yeah, 2-1. 2-1 two, one. Two, one against two, the one. Well done, girls. Well yeah, done, girls. Well done. Well done, you know, girls. You yeah. know, really good performance again tonight. We were watching yeah. that, you know, yeah. in and out while we were trying to get food sorted yeah. and things sorted like that. Yeah. I love, but I love the ladies' football. It's, it's excellent. It's they excellent. Know, they, yeah, they're always they're always they top players. Great technicians on that ball. But um, yeah, what guys, is? let you know. As I said, let us know your thoughts on the lineup. Uh, moving into predictions now. Uh, I know you gave yours earlier down in the match in the in the vlog. Yeah. Um, you said four 0 Are you still willing to go with that? Yeah, yeah, I'm quite confident. Yeah, they could pull this off. Okay. Yeah, yeah four nil. Okay. Um, if I'll eat my hat. For me? <laughs> uh, and that's my two. You don't, you don't even know a hat. You don't even know a yeah, hat. Yeah, right, yeah. But, um, yeah, I, to be honest with me, I'm feeling confident. I feel like if we play like we did against Milan the other day, we'd be absolutely fine. My prediction, I'm going 2 nil. I'm going with a 2-0 win, uh, and I'm going to go with a Bamiyang yeah, and really Chilwell true. to score. Yeah, that's really true. I yeah. think I think it's a good enough result for me, mm. but I would like to see like a 5-6-0 first time going to the bridge, but I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see what happens. But guys, let us know your thoughts on our predictions, yes. let us know your thoughts on the lineup that we, that we put together. You know, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. You know, if you are new to the channel as well, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell. I can't answer be notified when we upload. Share this video out as much as possible, yes, guys. Yeah. It really helps us out. And we'll see also, before we go, just a reminder, we will be in the butcher's hook from 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. So, um, so there, just guys. come and join us. Come and say yeah. hi. Come and have a picture with us. Come and have a pint with us. Yeah. We're happy yeah. to talk to you all. We're, we're yeah. very, we're, we're very open-minded about talking about it, talking about anything, yeah. mainly Chelsea. So, guys, come and join us in the pub. Until then, guys, we're going to end this this video here. Thank you so much for watching, yeah. and we'll see you guys Good night, tomorrow. Guys, and see you tomorrow for the see game. See you tomorrow, guys. Yeah, Good night. Bye.